Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is about traveling on a plane with a telescope. I have here a Pelican K1650 with pick and pluck foam, and I have the telescope I'd like to travel with, an Orion Starseeker 4 150mm Maxutoff Cassegrain Telescope. Right now I have the telescope in this Orion soft padded case, which holds everything, the tripod, the computerized alt as mount and the telescope and accessories plus a solar filter that I bought separately for this telescope. I reviewed this telescope in an earlier video calling it the perfect travel telescope but at that time I was traveling in a car and the soft padded case worked great. It held everything and I put it in the car and I had a blast but now I'm traveling to another state by plane and I would like to check the telescope, and that's where the Pelican case comes in. It says it's watertight, so if the plane goes down, the telescope should be fine, but I'm pretty sure I'll drown. <laughs> but I think it's very sturdy, and the telescope will be fine in this case. I could have taken Katie's 90 millimeter refractor. She told me I could take it, and it comes with a soft padded case, and it could have been taken on the plane as carry-on, and it would have been very protected. But I wanted a bigger aperture. I wanted at least six inches. So that's why I decided on the Star Seeker 4. And also, even if I took the 90 millimeter refractor, I would still need a mount. And all of my mounts are huge. So that wasn't going to work. And even now, when I put the telescope into the Pelican case, it's not going to hold the tripod legs. They'll have to go into a second case with my clothes. But the Pelican case has pick and pluck foam and you lay everything out on the foam and you put toothpicks around it and you mold it to the exact configuration that you would like. And so let's do that now and make sure it holds everything except the tripod legs. Okay, I've laid everything out in the foam with toothpicks marking where to take the foam out except for the plate that goes in the center of the tripod, but that can go somewhere else. And my dew shield which I can unwrap and lay it flat somewhere else. So it's going to hold everything. Now I have to pull out the foam. Okay, I got everything in. Looks nice and tidy. Next step is to see if it survives a trip on a plane. Okay, I got the second layer of foam cut out as well. So it has two layers of foam plus the foam that's in the lid. So it should be nice and secure. And everything fit except the center plate, the dew shield, and the tripod, which is not very long. So all of it will fit into this duffel bag along with my clothes. Now, there's one thing left. I have to weigh this to make sure it doesn't go over the 50 pound weight limit because I'm already checking two bags. Okay, let's go weigh it. Forty five pounds, so we're good. Thanks for the ride. Appreciate it. I'll see you soon. I hope they don't lose my bags. I'll be really mad. Okay, I'm in my hotel room. The airline did not lose my luggage, so that's good. The dew shield and tripod survived just fine. Now, let's see if the telescope survived. And it does appear that everything survive the airline intact. All right, I'm in business. 
So, one method of traveling on a plane with a telescope and a mount, a go-to mount, would be to put it in a pelican case. You'd need a double bag for the tripod, so you'd need two suitcases, but that's one method. The downside is that these pelican cases are heavy. Empty, I think this one weighs 25 pounds, so once you put all your gear in it, it's very heavy, especially for an old lady like me. So I'm going to experiment with some other methods after this trip, but one way to fly with your telescope, pelican case and duffel bag. That's it for now. Hope you found this useful. I'll see you soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.